uplifting we got two folks right here they're going to talk about some of the things that they're doing to uplift our community um and i want to bring them in now uh we're talking about tiffany begula and chris casano y'all and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and first let's start with uh y'all right here first of all tiffany welcome back to the show how My are goodness. you today so good thank you so much for having me back guys i love yes. being here with you guys yes, yes. And chris you welcome to the uh, show thank how are you, you today? for having me i'm doing great how are you guys <laughs> doing good excellent, excellent. Yeah, happy Appreciate to have it. you yeah thank you and let's start with this chris since uh you're new to the show one of the things sure. we love to start with is first how is right here right now chris your uh, pretty much your mind, body, and spirit. Oh, I love right it. That's a good question. Everything's <laughs> great. I was just talking to my mom on the way up here, so that's good. It always puts me in a good place on a Sunday. I always have that conversation with her. And uh, like I said, Dodgers won last night, so right. that's a good yeah. thing. Let's go. Yeah, you got good vibes uh, all the way around there, huh? Even though I from I am from New York, but we won't oh. talk about that. <laughs> this is my home now. This is there my you home. There you go. There you go. But no, <laughs> uh, yeah, things are great. Things are great. That's a that's uh, you know much love in my life right now. Feeling really blessed. So. That's yeah. beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. We were just actually talking about that. Huh? I meant that, like, because we were at the day of the event, day of the dead event, event, and we're talking about like, you know, not just honoring our loved ones yeah. that have passed, but also just our loved ones right here, right now that are sure. present. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you, you talk know. about like you talking to your mama. What a blessing, right? Yes. yes. If, yes. Essentially, yeah. Of course, of course, and especially now, right? We all know how hard things can be. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, the election coming up, whether whether it's other things in your life, like you know, a little bit of love, a little bit of hope, a little bit of brightness, optimism is really important, and that's that's kind of what we're here to talk about. Yeah, and so. I can't wait for that. And before we do, Tiffany, how is your mind, body, and spirit right here, right now? Come on now. I feel great. I feel really happy. I feel very thankful. I'm excited to talk with you guys about how we were able to merge beauty, my love of beauty, and my love for the nonprofit sector. Yes. And this was the perfect opportunity with Cuts for a Cause. Uh, and I can't wait for that. And, uh, you know, let's get into that too, you know, because we definitely want to dive deep on that. And sure. again, uh, uh, you know, Tiffany and, uh, um, is uh, an intern with uh, Food on Foot LA uh, that specializes in uh, so the social impact, excuse me, specializing in social impact, social media and marketing. But not only that, like you said, like, you know, you uh, have your own business as well. And, you know, you guys have an event that you guys are organizing through uh, Foot on Foot that has to uh, do with something called Cuts for a Cause. Yeah. So let's get into a little bit of what is Food on Foot LA and then Cuts for a Cause. So break it down for us. Right on. Break it down, break it down. Well, I started volunteering with Food on Foot um, probably 2017, 2018, and it's an organization in Hollywood. Um, you know, they're coming up, I may, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think they've had you know, one of the things they do is they do a food serving every Sunday in Hollywood to around 350, some sort, sometimes up toward five, 400 uh, unhoused folks in Hollywood. And I don't think they've missed a Sunday in over 15 years. Wow. I mean, wow. that's it's amazing. Impressive. It's right? crazy. It might yeah. even be closer beautiful. to 20, to be honest. Yeah, right there. And mm -hmm. so, you know, that is the spectrum of uh, people experiencing homelessness, right? Yeah. You get everybody through that line who needs a meal. There's uh, clothing, mm -hmm. right? There's hygiene products. It's, it's really something that those folks can look forward to. Um, no matter what is happening, COVID, mm -hmm. anything, Sunday, they're there. So, wow. you know, I started volunteering that way, you know, just showing up and helping distribute mm -hmm. th those items on a Sunday. And um, some, so that that's food on foot. Yeah. And then Cuts for a Cause is something uh, some friends and, and, uh, and I organized on the East Coast. Like I said, I'm from New York. I uh, lived in New Jersey for a while and uh, we did an event uh, giving haircuts to uh, people experiencing homelessness in Hoboken, New Jersey. We've done that mm -hmm. twice now in upstate New York, uh, where, you know, just giving, you know, we talked about feeling good about yeah. how we, how, about how we look, how, you know, what we're experiencing and just giving dignity to those folks that otherwise that part, right? sometimes yeah. people just dismiss. Yeah, um, for sure. So the opportunity for them to come in, somebody to take the time to make them look better. Mm -hmm. Hopefully mm -hmm. that, you know, transcends inward for those folks yeah. as well. And yeah. they can walk away uh, with a fresh haircut and feeling good for that day. And, and who knows what that kind of translates into uh, the next day or the right? next week yeah. or the next month. So that's I mean, kind of so what this like, is I mean, for. I mean, there's all these layers right here, huh, I man, that it's like, first, the food part, right? That's yeah. like, yeah. you think about it, like, like these are the, the basic necessities of, like, humanity, yep. right? Like, shelter, yep. food, right? Before yep. we could get into any other stuff. And, like, to be able to be part of an organization like that, I'm sure it's like, 
like it fills your cup as much as you probably like help to I get theirs, so you know? much more out of it yeah. I think than they probably do right and 100% the, and yeah. the whole other thing that food not food does so that's every week every Sunday they do yeah. that there's a whole nother program that they are putting folks uh, that you that it so there's a if you're experiencing homelessness, there's a lot of state and city assistance that you get. Yeah. The folks that Food on Foot with Food on Foot is working with, they aren't eligible for that. So they're kind of newer within one to two years of homelessness. Yeah. And so they're not eligible for some of the state funded mm. programs. Food on Foot then brings them in, helps that they help kind of organize the Sunday service. And they also have programs where they're finding them housing helping them oh, save so cool. upwards so, to five thousand yeah. dollars before they kind of exit the program oh, nice. helping them find work they have financial literacy programs so there's so much that that's they amazing. do that's awesome. on yeah, top yeah. of yeah. just feeding and i know that's important yeah yeah but, but it's again, also helping yeah. them not slip back yeah. into yeah. homelessness yeah, yeah. And so that's kind of what yeah. turned me on the most kind of like they getting do. them on their feet and keeping yes them. Yeah, right. giving them the tools right tiffany right yeah. giving them the yeah, tools yeah 100 percent. i was yeah. really impressed they have uh i think once a month ucla they mm -hmm. have the yep. residents right the yep. doctors will come and they do um public health services yep. nice. so if you need your uh transportation they will help you with that nice. um, they'll do assessments um if they need um medical they can help them get signed up uh, I've been blown away with food on foot. Yeah, just yeah. everything that they offer, Very true, and huh? yeah, and it's great to know that these type of things exist. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of people don't know about it, and that's why I wanted to work with them. Yeah. I was like, I want to raise awareness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. don't know these things exist. That part, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and not only that, like, yeah. I'm also thinking like, uh, like you said, kind of like um, being able to have like. Folks that might be like falling through the cracks because of maybe certain services that aren't quite there for them yet. It's like, what happens to folks like that? And well, it's good to know that there's you know, these type of nonprofits that actually are doing the good work. The it's good deeds, it's a know? lot of folks that uh, lost their job unexpectedly, had to take care of a family member unexpectedly, yeah. and all of a sudden, a couple of weeks, a couple of months goes by, and they yeah. weren't able to make the rent payment or something yeah. like that, and they're living in their car and. They're, it's new to them and they're not eligible and, and we kind of can help those folks get back on their feet. That's awesome. That's uh, and, awesome. You know. And if you think about it, like, I mean, kind of blessings, but like, yeah, some, you know, we could be, like you said, like one situation away from so being in those oh, yeah. places so close. ourselves. So, it's like, <laughs> so close. You know, we can't just like be like, you know, um, like we have to empathize and like figure out ways that we can support and uplift. Yeah. And yeah. talk about then, Tiffany, like a little bit of thou knowing a little bit of the organization yes. like that. You know, uh, talk to us about the cuts for a cause. Then, you yeah, because so, that's kind of what you come in too. Yeah, you know? it does. It was like the perfect. Yeah. It was like it was. Yeah, it all aligned. So I started working with Randy and Rob, um, and they are the the directors and it's volunteer directors volunteer. of Food on Foot. Yes. Yep. And this was like the perfect opportunity when I started working with them because I have my hair salon that I've owned for over 20 years. Nice. And I have a hair product line, Blue Luna Hair. Ooh, okay, and nice. I had been waiting for the next move. And I've always had a heart and the spirit for giving back. Yeah. I've been a foster parent, as I mentioned to you, for years. I have adopted children. Like, I've always wanted to be in a space where I yeah. can make a difference. So this was the perfect opportunity because I was like, you know what? I have my mentees. I yeah. have a mentoring um, program. Uh -huh. So I have 10 or 15 mentees that I mentor throughout the years. And I got them all on board. I have so many clients from doing hair for so long. I have a ton of donations. That I'm making nice. beautiful bags for all of the hairstylists. Oh, I got to share that with the rest of the nice. team. That's cool. And it's just people want to give back. People want to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like I use my space, my platform to give people the opportunity to show up, to pull up, to be there. Nice, nice, nice. So like, this was, yeah. yeah, it was the perfect opportunity. It's like tap in. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, so tell us a little bit more about like, you know, like um, this particular event. Yes. Yep. When is it happening? Yes, like, you know, perfect. Who's eligible? Like what's going on, you know? So the event is happening on Sunday, November 17th. It's going to be at the YMCA in Hollywood. Okay. And in terms of eligible, you know, if you want a haircut, you can pretty much show up uh, between the hours of 10 to 3. Nice. Tiffany Styles will be there for, for, oh, yeah. for those yeah. hours. Come on now. And, um, you might need to pull up real quick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not because, um, but like to uplift, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, kind of spread the word that way. Yeah. But um, And then, you know, it, we're looking for donations to help kind of 
take care of the folks that are involved, but also any they kind of, you know, having some food and water and that kind of stuff there too. So, you know, you can find the links at uh, Food on Foot LA Instagram, uh, Cuts X Cause on Instagram, mm. uh, foodonfoot.org is their website. So a couple of different ways to help out. But yeah, the event is the 17th, 10 to yeah. 3 nice. in Hollywood at the Hollywood Y. And that's right on Schrader. On Schrader? Okay. Right off of Sunset, yep. All right. I mean, hey, we're all about, uh, as we always say here too, is like, you know, uh, we uplift the San Fernando Valley and beyond, you know, because yeah, exactly. yeah. at the end of the day, it's like we link up like with people yeah. from L.A. We actually do stuff in uh, Hollywood, too, you know, for film festivals and stuff like that. So it's like it's just really uh, a beautiful thing, right, to be able to um, uh, know that there's these type of organizations here that our community can benefit from. Yep. Tiffany, tell me, like, like just in general, especially being a hairstylist and like, you know, it's, it's kind of like an intimate thing, right? Like when you're, uh, you know, with your clients and like, you know, with your people and um like that experience right like you were saying too chris of like having someone get a cut and like kind of again like pausing to like kind of like that self-care and all that like what what's that feeling like uh for you and like what are what are you expecting like when you're actually there too for cuts for a uh, cause too like a little bit of both you know i mean for me i don't take those moments for granted at all i always tell the girls that i mentor it's more about the moment than the cut Mm -hmm. Overall, people want to feel seen. They want to yeah. feel heard. Yeah. And that's what we're expecting to do on the yeah. 17th. Mm -hmm. We want to make people feel seen and valued and heard. I love that. On yeah. top of that, an amazing haircut. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. you know, and you, to look good. <laughs> exactly. Right? 100%. I mean, like, I mean, when we get our cuts, you know, it's like, <laughs> oh, you feel man. good, right? You're like, hey, yeah. like, look at your smiles right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> look, you made that too. It's like, oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, there's I mean, I don't have too do much that. hair, but like, you know, I just got to work on those split ends. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? But, uh, but no, it's, it's just beautiful to know, like, yeah, like, I don't know, that makes me happy, like, to, like, you know, sometimes you hear about it, but it's, it makes me even happier to know the folks that are actually, like, part of this, you yeah. know, that, that part, too, you know, no matter what, I mean, just, you're absorbing all of this, like, you're processing all this right now, like, yeah, just, what are your thoughts, Imelda, as, uh, as the youngster up in this house, you know? <laughs> I think, I think it's good to, like, know, because, like, someone that was unaware of this is, like, like, wow, like, they actually have that out, like, I go to LA with my mom and I'm in the car with her and she like sees all these homeless and like she starts telling me things like she doesn't want to see like none of her kids there obviously no yeah, parent wants yeah. to see none of their kids but it's like whether they fell into the wrong path or like just something in life like made them slip yeah to be in that spot like there's resources that like could help them like get them yeah. back on their feet and like help maintain them there not just like Help them for a little bit, and then, like, they're, like, we helped you, you yeah. know? Because I know there's, like, a lot of, like, like places and things that, like, they, like, help a little bit. Like, it's helpful, yeah, yeah but and then they don't, like, help them stay like in. Yeah. 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 And what I enjoy, because, um, like you guys said, just from looking good and feeling good about yourself, that can lead into, well, now I can apply for a job. Yeah, 100%. Hundred percent. I can go in for the interview, you know, because I look good. And That's the so, ripple effect yeah. we're hoping, right? You just yeah. don't know. It's yeah. a, it seems like such a small gesture, but I think it's really a, 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 a big yeah. Yeah. impact. Because yeah. no, even awesome. with, like, just a haircut, it can make someone feel and, like, present themselves more, like, mm -hmm. presentable. Yeah. 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 It's the confidence. Yeah. yeah. The con that confidence yeah. part is so important. And, like, uh, and again, it's, like, and I'm sure, like, through through that, like, you know, they'll probably, like, tap into some of the resources or, like, Hopefully. at least, you know, like, Hopefully. how the access or maybe a little bit of extra knowledge, right? Because yeah. it's also just such a, whew, like, such a heavy kind of, you know, it's for some reason, right, lift for our society, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, the richest nation in the world right like we yeah. pride ourselves with like especially like as you were saying elections right like you know as our uh you know national politicians always say like the greatest country in, in modern history right <laughs> yeah yeah like greatest I and yeah like, like look at what so we got <laughs> well, in the world. and you know, look and you drive around a, a lot of areas and you see it and i you know there's there's people who just don't want to see it and yeah. that's addressing yeah. the situation yeah. and then there's people like i think everybody here that mm -hmm. says it's, it's great that that encampment isn't at the un, end of my street anymore, yeah. but where are those people now? Exactly. What happened to them? Yeah. And who's taking care of them? Yeah. Where can they go? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the other thing, like food on foot 
is a place you can go. And there are organizations closer to where we are now yeah. in San Fernando or in Los Angeles where, you know, if you show up here and you stick with it, food on foot will get you where you want to go. It is That's that beautiful. simple. Yeah. yeah, It's amazing. And the cool thing about that is it's not just handouts. It's a yeah. lot of that is a lot of donations and, and, and yeah. time and people right. showing up. But if I'm the one that's there, I have to put in that I got to show yeah. up every yes. week. I got to do it for me. I yep. have to make the decision that I don't want to be in the position I'm in anymore. It's empowerment. And if you make that decision with this organization, they will get you where you want to go. And that's, to me, the most beautiful thing about that it. Is, it's special. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, right? I mean, it makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just hearing it out, you know, because, uh, um, yeah, it's like, you know, so many folks in our society, like, are struggling in different yeah. ways, like, yeah. mentally, physically, more and more. financially, mm -hmm. and, like, to, to know, right, like, there's people like y'all, too, with big hearts that, you know, give up. Probably one of the the biggest things that we could kind of give up sometimes is our time, you know, and our energy. Cause, Absolutely. You know, sometimes that's that's even more than, like, just giving our money. Sure. You know, it's like our yeah. time. We don't get it back. I agree. You know, we don't. <laughs> and so it's like, to be able to do that, Chris, like... You know, you said you you know you've been uh, volunteering over there since like about 2017 or so 2018. Yeah, like, there. what what keeps you going? Because you know we're in 2024, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're still doing it. Like, what keeps you going? I think that's the thing. I think for a long time I've financially been able to do it, but I think that's half of it for me. You know, w when you talked about kind of what I'm getting out or what they get out of me showing up, the appreciation, the mm. gratitude the smile from someone who could have been on the street for years yeah. when I'm handing them an apple or a banana, like mm. you, yeah. it is, it, it's, it's incredible yeah. how yeah. kind, th th these are just people. Yeah. You just know? like us. They're not yeah. they're like on house. They're just people and their exactly. situation is a little bit different than ours, but the appreciation, the gratitude for me is what kind of keeps me coming back. Cause yeah. it's like, it puts everything in my life in perspective. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Like I, I can't get, too upset about anything right. when yeah. I see that smile from someone just getting some sort of um, a, a gift from somebody giving up a couple hours with their son. Yeah. yeah, it's like oh that that thing at work doesn't really matter that mm -hmm. much. Yeah, right. Like exactly. the health of my family and friends matters. Yeah. No, and like it's everything. Where people are, like who does need help? And I think the other part of this is just showing up. Yeah. yeah. To me, what I've learned is a lot of the folks in these situations just don't have somebody to turn to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when just one person showing up consistently can change a life. Yeah, right? Like, you know, that's yeah. a big deal. No, that's huge. And Tiffany, like, same for you, you know, like, just, you do a lot of stuff, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm getting to know you, you know, like, more and more now. It's like, I see that, you know, I, like, your energy uh, emanates through the different uh, uh, places I see you, Thank you know? You. That and means like, a lot to me. Yeah, it really does. And, like, what, what, um, yeah, same, like, just kind of what, like what fuels you to like same right because that's a lot of your time and effort too but like what is it that for you it's like fills you up like you know your cup in doing these things you do you know i mean for me it's bigger than me i'm raising two daughters i'm mm -hmm. raising um a 17 year old mexican daughter and hey. an african-american 14 year old daughter and i want them to see their mom doing the work yeah. not just talking the talk like mm -hmm. in the trenches doing it yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. we all know kids learn from watching oh, not, yeah. listening. Yeah. <laughs> not listening not yeah. listening they're yeah. watching their parents yeah. how they move yeah that's how they learn. Yeah. They're not, it's not from what I say. Yeah. It's from me waking up early yeah. on my day off, going to Hollywood, showing up, yeah. doing the work. Yeah. So for me, it's way bigger than me. I yeah. want to make a difference. Yeah, it. that's like a legacy status right there. Yeah. You know, it really is. You know, it's like creating that. And, you know, and I'm so glad we got the youth here that are like listening, but more importantly, like watching and, you know, like exactly. seeing, seeing the work, you know. <laughs> Trying to make a difference. Right? Yes. Yeah, and um, no, this is so inspiring, but also like just a big reminder of like, yeah. you know, let's just do what we can, right? Like, well, to, it doesn't matter the know? size. I think to the youth piece, it's like something yeah. as simple as, and it's not. There's a lot of moving mm -hmm. parts. Like, yeah, it's not easy, easy, sure. right? Yeah. But sure, s something as simple sounding as giving somebody a haircut, you can do anything, right? Yeah. You, whatever you think of, yeah. stand on a street corner and. And give out smiles, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Or like, even just like have a conversation with yeah. someone. Yeah. You know, Some people just okay. like want to have that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Just see somebody. Connection. Tiffany yeah. said, yeah. "Be seen," and that's. Yes. I think that's a big part of this. And you know what? I gotta give a big shout out to Arora, one of our crew members. Does all kinds of stuff here too, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, Arora, I know you're there, like somewhere in the green room, somewhere. <laughs> but uh, you know, it just reminds me of this because uh, we were at a. Uh, uh, doing some red carpet coverage uh, in Hollywood, actually. 
And uh, when we were all done, like Aurora and I and Vane, you know, we did our interviews and all that good stuff on the red carpet. And like, usually after the red carpets are done, we don't really, uh, you know, then we just go do our own thing. Sure. So we're like, hey, like, let's go get some waffles at Denny's across the street, yes. you know? But we were at, at Denny's and um, there was a, um, a person that you could tell they, they, they probably had some, uh, like, uh, mental health, like, struggles, you yeah. know? Yep. They came in, you know, um, uh, probably in a, you know, unhoused situation possibly just based on you know like uh their situation when they walked in you yeah. know and um you know vani and i and Aurora were kind of doing our thing but Aurora like like saw this person yeah. like saw them like not like you see mm -hmm. somebody but like yeah. saw them you know yeah. and i went up to the manager and asked for uh uh you know let's let's get get him some water that's great and Aurora's was like i'm gonna pay for something what do you want like food and like and he was like kind of like vibing in his own kind of like you know s uh, space and head <laughs> yeah and it was just so incredible thank you like our interns are telling us you know, mm -hmm. we're almost gotta wrap it up thank you but uh, it was so incredible because it was um yeah Aurora just kind of like really low-key just kind of did it and like people were kind of staring at this person and yeah. and like we were like after a while it all kind of like made us see this person um because of how she was seeing them and it was like we were actually like he was singing and stuff and like uh we were like vibing to him singing yeah. while he's waiting for his food and you know people are like with a side eye but we're like uh-uh like this is just <laughs> another human being yeah. and he was so grateful like yeah. uh, for the food and everything he's like, oh, i'm gonna actually share this with someone else that you know and wow. it was just like yeah, you know, Humanity. and I, I, I just reminded me of that, like, yeah. you know, and and so anyway, it's like, yeah, like you said, like you could do any little gesture yeah. helps so much. And imagine you know? if everybody just did one little thing, yeah. even like once a week, let alone once a day. Yeah, it, right? the world would be just such a mm -hmm. lovelier place. Yeah, and yeah. that's kind of for me, that's yeah, important. Awesome. Well, that's great. That's great. I really uh, appreciate you guys uh, coming on board to tell us and uh, tell us one more time uh, for our audience to uh, you know really tap in uh the uh event date and like you know again the cuts for cause and just give us the details one more time cool so the event date uh sunday november 17th from 10 to 3 at the ymca in hollywood uh if you do want to donate you can go to foodonfoot.org uh their instagram handle is food on foot la uh cuts x cause c-u-t-s-x-c-a-u-s-e instagram to donate to uh, our specific event through that but really anything over general expenses for the event that we raise yeah. is going back to food on foot anyway yeah, awesome. so donating directly to them is, is is just as helpful as donating to the event nice nice and as we uh, wrap up right here again we want to thank you chris tiffany of course for tapping yes. in we're going to continue to uh do this of course but uh uh we'd love to end our show of course uh with our guests here every time it, with uh words of wisdom so chris we'll start with you what are some words of wisdom you want to leave us with I just want to say, uh, pay attention whenever you're out to to everyone and anyone, and, and shoot them a smile, uh, give them a bit a bit a little bit of love, and and see them, and the, like staying with that theme of what we were talking about. Beautiful. Well, we see you here on KRJ. Appreciate Values, that. Chris. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And Tiffany, same thing. What are some words of wisdom hmm. you want to leave us with? Hmm. Today I'm feeling. Always have patience and always be kind. There it is, you know. Sometimes less is more, y'all. <laughs> so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a quick, short musical break, y'all. Of course, take you there, radio. Thank you to Tiffany and Chris for being here with us. And uh, in just a bit, we're gonna have the one and only Jason Strickler, who's running for a city council here for the city of San Fernando. Talk to us a little bit more about not just his campaign, but his community advocacy as well. So with that said, Blazuri, take it away. We'll be right back here on KRJ one hundred one point five FM. <laughs> 